Can you please tell us your name and where you're from? Sylvia Cuevas, and I'm from Pasco. Yeah, Pasco. Okay, and can you tell us just your testimony and what you've experienced? About a month and a half ago, I started having like throat issues. It was just starting to hurt, and I didn't know why I lost my voice. So it was a couple, like two days that I had completely lost my voice, and it just felt like I had a sore throat, and I really didn't. It didn't hurt or anything. It was just my voice was gone. I was trying to figure out why or how I could make it better. And then I noticed that every Wednesday and Sunday after worship is when it started to occur. So I would lose my voice. I was like, am I worshiping too strong or is it too much? But it wasn't the case because I never had the issue before. But um, so home group, we came to home group. Actually, with that time, I, I was trying to figure out what was going on. And I remembered someone had told me once that I would probably have thyroid issues by just looking at facial features. So then I started worrying and being scared that maybe I had a thyroid issue. So when we were at home group, I asked to get prayed for, for my throat, and if that was a thyroid issue going on, and just to take the fear away. And after that same night, I was just completely felt like I had a weight lifted off my shoulders. And my prayer life completely changed. Even that moment when they were praying over me, I had a vision where I just started praying and praying, like my prayer life completely changed and my throat hasn't been bothering me and it's been about two and a half weeks now. And can you tell us a little bit about how that fear took root? Can you tell us a little bit how that person came up to you and just kind of told you that you're going to have thyroid problems? Um, A year ago, I went to Costa Rica for a mission trip. And I encountered with this lady who had told me that she did a lot of research on medical, because she had a medical problem. She's from the States and moved to Costa Rica. And so she did lots of research and she said that she could tell by looking at people's facial features, she could tell if you were gonna most likely lean toward disease or illness or sickness. And so she said that by looking at certain of my features, she could tell that I would probably have thyroid issues. And Ever since then, I just found it like, you know, I was just curious to know more and just, it didn't really faze me then. Up until home group was when we went with over the book of curses, from curses to blessings, and I realized, you know, that could have been the curse that, and the fear that was put upon my life where I put two and two together. And if it weren't for home group, and if it weren't for the book from curses to blessings, I wouldn't have been able to put, tie it together and pray over it the way we did. Wow, that's awesome. That's awesome. And after you received that prayer, what are you experiencing now? Are you having any more problems or issues? No more. I, I went off two and a half weeks, and I was like, every, every Wednesday and Sunday, I was coming in and just full on faith, just believing that I had received a healing. And sure enough, I haven't had any issues with my throat. Wow, that's so awesome. Praise God. And Sylvia, now that you've went through that and experienced the power of prayer, what would you say for maybe someone that has a difficulty in their life or those that are watching, and what would you advise them if they're going through something close to that or have doubt and want more direction? Definitely to not underestimate your issue, problem, or whatever you have going on, and that it's not small enough to pray for. You can pray over anything and everything, so don't feel like... It's something too small to pray for. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's awesome. You guys, give God another hand of applause. Thank you so much, Sylvia, for the awesome testimony.